guys it's been so long since I have come on here live to cook and um, today I am going to break the long break that I've been having from doing live videos so you guys get to join me for dinner give me a moment I'm going to share this video in um, my party going on and on my personal page Let's first share this over here. Give me one second. I don't see little eyes yet, so. All right. We're gonna post it in there and then I'm gonna post it in my personal page. Share this. Hmm. Hey, Miss Natalie, how are you doing? All right, let me put it in here and I'm gonna put it in one more group. Hey, Courtney, I am so excited you're joining. Give me one more minute and I'm gonna share this in my VIP group. It's been about a month since I've done a live video, so um, so I wanna share it in all my groups to get all my people because it's been so long. I kinda of feel a little rusty. Like, I was thinking today, what do I need to do for my live video tonight? I even forgot what I was cooking at one point. All right. Perfect, okay, we're all shared. I am trying a new recipe tonight. Um, I've never cooked it before, and I'm gonna cook it with you guys. Um, before I get started, let me put some, I wanna put my oven on. Um, so we all know that fall is officially, it has officially started, and I love soup. If you love soup, give me a heart or a like of some sort. All right. One second. Okay. I just need to heat up my pan so once I have this onion all chopped up, it's ready to go. So I am making a new type of soup tonight that I've never made before. And it's actually, um, it kind of goes along with my love of Italian food that if you watch my videos, you know I make a lot of Italian. Um, but it's a soup this time and it is a chicken Parmesan soup. And I've never made it before. I found the recipe on the Pamper Chef site, but I kind of like tweaked it a little bit. So um, you guys will be able to join me with that. Hey, Kaden. And um, I'm gonna make salad with it. So the very first thing, I'm gonna put this down a little bit. Um, the very first thing is I'm going to chop up this onion. Um, and this was something that I added in the recipe. But we're using the, well, let me cut this in a piece. We're using our food chopper. Love this thing, super popular. Um, I have, I don't even know how many customers I have that bought this or that's already had it for years and years and years. My neighbors had hers for like 20 years, incredible. But I have my onion, I just chopped it into smaller pieces and you just push the top handle. Well, it's not even really a handle, it's like a button. You just pump that button and it dices your onions super small and it's very fast. I used to buy, um, well, they actually have it here in Texas, but definitely in Louisiana, they have the Gidry's mix and it's like already cut up onions. I used to buy that in the store, but it was really expensive. If you really, it's like, I think it was like two or three dollars and it was just enough onions for one meal. So, this has saved me a ton of money. Because literally, look how fast this is. And I'm talking while I'm doing this. I see five little eyes. Hello, whoever's joining. I don't know who else joined in, but I know five people are watching. All right. So, 
So we have all of that chopped up. I have a little piece that I didn't chop over here. I use this chopper um, to chop up pecans. I've been on this like pecan kick lately and making all kinds of desserts with pecans. And so um, I use this to chop up my pecans and it's perfect. You buy like the big bag of pecans from Sam's around this time of year. They always have like, I think it's three pounds in a bag for like 12 or $13. And um, I buy them like every time I would go to Sam's, I buy one or my sister buys it for me. And I keep them like the whole halves. And then when I need chop, I use this thing and it's perfect. I'm gonna dump this in our pan real quick. onions um, chopping up I mean not chopping up we chopped them I'm gonna have our onions cooking in our rock crock and we'll talk about that in a second um, but in case you did not see that that is the um, food chopper so fast so easy if you chop um, really any any veggies like your celery bell pepper onions um, hey Ethel um, what else like I said I use it for pecans I've used it to dice up um, pineapple, just all different types of things. If it has a skin on it, like tomatoes or something of that sort, you want the skin up um, so it doesn't just smash it. It'll like cut the skin first and go through. But this works great. I have not had it dull yet and my friend had hers for 20 years and it wasn't even dull. So incredible, love the food chopper. Again, just push it down. All right, so we're gonna put that aside and that's dishwasher safe. Um, this recipe that I am making tonight, I said it is a chicken parmesan soup. So it's fall time. I love the fall. I love to wear boots and scarves and cardigans and um, I love soup. And so I decided why not try something new and it's a chicken parmesan soup. It can be a one pot recipe and super simple to make it one pot. But I wanted to show y'all all my cool gadgets to use with other things. So I decided to kind of spread it out a little bit. Um, and so one of the things that goes in the um, in the recipe are pasta noodles. And so I'm going to use our new pasta cooker. Um, some people said it looks like a, a nice, pretty dog bowl because of the way it's shaped, which I guess you can use it for that. But um, it's actually a ceramic bowl that can go in, um, it can technically go in the oven because it's ceramic, but it's used in the microwave. And this is perfect for um, those who use single serve, um, dishes a lot or like college students um, great for that so it's meant to cook pasta and this is a little part to it I'll explain in a second but I'm just gonna pour some pasta in here there are a ton of recipes on the pamper chef um, website I only need about eight ounces so about half of this box um, and that fits perfect in here I'm gonna put some water just kind of cover the pasta. Um, in the recipes on the Pamper Chef site, they definitely have more precise instructions. Um, but when I use it, I kind of just eyeball it. I'm gonna put, well, let me stir this up a little bit. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna put a little bit of chicken broth. If you do not put chicken broth in your water when you make pasta or rice, you need to because chicken, well this is chicken stock and that's even better, but chicken broth and chicken stock make everything taste so much better or whatever you're cooking, if it's better with beef or vegetable or whatever it is. All right, so we have our pasta in here. This is the pasta cooker. I'm just gonna like stir it up, make sure it's not stuck anywhere. And this is our boil over cover. So like I said, this is gonna go in the microwave and it's gonna cook our pasta in there. And this is gonna go over it so that when it starts to bubble, it won't go all over your microwave. It'll go right on that red section and stay there. And then this both, they pop it in the dishwasher. So I'm gonna stick this in the microwave. minutes um, normally when I cook pasta like this 
it actually, let me rephrase that. Let me start it at, I'm gonna start it at seven minutes. Um, normally when I cook pasta, it'll take somewhere between 14 to 20 minutes in the microwave. Um, so I normally start it first so that it's, it's done. Um, so, hey Brittany, hey Casey, hey Mr. Danny. Um, so, I have our onions. I'm gonna move you guys over here so we can work on the stove for a little while. I had you, okay. Um, my phone was dying, so I had to put it in there. Okay, so, like I said, I am making chicken parmesan, but in a soup form. We have some onions over here that are getting nice and brown. And I'm put that down a little bit. I have my grill pan. We're gonna cook chicken in. And what's great about this grill pan is you can cook chicken tenderloins in literally six minutes. It's so fast. I love it. I'm using our kitchen spritzer to put some oil on my pan. I'm just pumping the handle to build up that pressure and then spraying. A lot better than using any type of aerosol non-stick. Um, it's so much healthier. There's not all those extra preservatives you can't pronounce in the ingredients that you don't know what they are. I have some olive oil on here and I'm putting my chicken tenderloins together. Like I said, this recipe can definitely be a one pot meal. Like I could cook my chicken in my rock crock right now with my onions, but I wanted to show off the grill pan because I absolutely 150 million percent love it. All right. I seasoned my chicken before I got on with some um, Tony Sachery salt, pepper, a little Italian seasoning. And actually the Italian seasoning that I have, okay, is that five minutes? Um, the Italian seasoning that I have is Pampered Chef. Most of our seasonings are gluten-free. You'll see this little thing right here. Um, it'll say gluten-free. So if you are a gluten-free home, this is great. This is the Italian seasoning mix, but there's a garlic rub, onion rub, like literally 20 plus different seasonings, and they're all incredible. They're very tasty. And so I put this on the chicken before getting started. All right, our onions are getting nice and brown and so i'm gonna bring y'all over here to look in the lovely rock rock if you have or have heard of the rock crock before give me a heart or a thumbs up or something because this thing is incredible so hopefully some of you have heard about this i'm gonna try and position you to where you can see what's going on here and not fall off over so this rock crock this pot that you see right here that has our onions inside of it. It is made of ceramic and it can go all kind of places. So versatile. It can go on the stove top like you see here. It can go in the microwave. I have made actually the um, Pampered Chef recipe I'm using tonight that I've tweaked a little bit. Um, it calls for you to cook it in the microwave in 20 minutes. Um, but I decided I was going to show you the pasta cooker because that's one of our um, big sellers right now. And so I wanted to show that to you, so I'm doing it on the stove top. But the rock top can also go in the, um, in the oven, under the broiler. Some of them go on the grill. It's really incredible. And then it can go in the fridge or the freezer. So like more than likely when I'm done with this, I am going to, oops, I'm going to um, store it in the fridge in this, in this pan. And then why dirty more dishes when you can just stick it right in the fridge? I'm gonna put some garlic in here and I'm using our garlic press. If you've never seen our garlic press before, prepare to be amazed because you can take garlic cloves that still have the peeling on them, stick them right in there, squeeze and just watch the garlic come out. And the peeling, you just pull right out of here. I'm gonna put this down a little bit, it's getting hot. You can pull the peeling right out. Look how incredible. I am going to put a few more cloves. Again, you just push it effortless. Sometimes um, the peeling gets stuck on this little part right here and sometimes it stays inside. If it does, I call this little thing a Barbie brush comes with it. You can pull it out with that little brush that comes along with 
with the garlic press. Let me turn this around a little bit using our mix and scrape. So that's what it's called, a mix and scrape, I think, or something along that. Using that to um, stir in here. A customer uh, a few months ago told me that her husband uses her mix and scraper for, um, for stirring a roux. And I was like, wow, that's interesting. I never thought of it like that before. So the last time I made a gumbo, I used it and it was perfect. Loved it. It just like really scrapes the end of, um, you can use this to take all that off too. It really scrapes the bottom of your pan well. All right, so I have garlic in here, some onions, and it's ready for the rest of the ingredients for our soup. I'm using chicken stock and I'm going to put a cup and a half. I have our measure all measuring cup right here. This thing is great because you can use liquids like I'm about to use, but you can also do solids and like pasty things. Push this down. Like you can put peanut butter or whatever else, mayo, those types of ingredients and just push it through like this and then take it off. Perfect. Love it. So what are you guys having for dinner tonight? Anyone else having soup? We're gonna put one and a half cups. Ooh, I might be burning my chicken over here, guys. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at that, look how pretty. I'm gonna flip this over. Normally the chicken on medium heat, you can put three minutes on each side. Thankfully I had put this down a little bit because I forgot about it. All right, we'll have that cook for three more minutes. All right, so we have our chicken stock in here. The recipe also calls for some marinara sauce. I um, like to use this brand because it's in the refrigerated section and it's very fresh. If you have a toddler that loves spaghetti, um, I don't know about you guys, but when I cook spaghetti, I cook like this more Cajun-like spaghetti and it's, um, it takes a while. It's not a quick spaghetti. It, it, I mean, it takes me like three to four hours to cook it and it's delicious, but I mean, who has three to four hours to cook a spaghetti when you want spaghetti? Or when your three-year-old wants spaghetti? So I can make pasta in my pasta cooker real fast and easy. And I get this marinara sauce out of the refrigerated section and he loves it. It's very tasty. I mean, I'm not endorsed by these people by any means, but I, I love their products. It has helped our life in the kitchen tremendously. All right, we're gonna also put, I'm gonna push y'all back a little bit. I can see all my messiness, but I want to um, open this can of diced tomatoes for you. And I wanna show you our amazing can opener. Let me throw this out real fast. All right. So we are going to open this can of tomatoes using our can opener. Um, what's great about this is that it doesn't cut the can. It um, suction, unsuctions the top. So all you do is you set it on there. You put it on top, not on the side because you're um, unsealing it more like. All right. We're going to going around. I think I went all the way around. You turn it the opposite way to turn it off. You press this button right here and our little, called a little bird mouth. And you just pull the top right off and um, it doesn't cut you because it unsealed it. It did not cut the can. So if you have little ones in the kitchen that like to help, it's perfect because you won't worry about them cutting themselves. Love the can opener, and you don't have like all the extra wires and stuff. All right, 
So I'm gonna stir all of this together, have it start to simmer a bit. You know what, actually I think I'm gonna put the rest of this chicken stock because it's just not enough stuff for me in here. I put it in my marinara to get all the goodness. All right. So our pasta is making noise over here. So let's check that out. Let me move y'all over. Woo! Sorry guys, technical difficulty. Y'all are falling over on my tripod. I feel like that happens to me all the time. All right, we're gonna pull this out of the microwave using my oven mitts. Any questions so far? Maybe you see something that I've used? All right. See, we have all the stuff that was to boil over on the little red part. And our chicken, I believe, is a jun. So you guys look at that lovely pasta while I check this chicken. I want to show y'all how pretty this chicken is. Like, look how pretty that is. And it smells delicious. It got little grill marks on there from the grill, from the grill pan. Perfect. I'm gonna put this chicken in a bowl real fast. While you guys check out that pasta, it's still steaming over there. about all our beautiful chicken we're gonna cut up in a second but what's great about the um, grill pan is that it's also dishwasher safe and like when I say that I can rinse off that grill pan and then stick it in the dishwasher I don't even have to rub anything off of it and even like whenever I have it sit like if I forget about it and it sits there for a little a few hours or whatever I can still literally like rinse the stuff off of it and it still gets all of that good grill on your on your food but it rinses off totally worth the investment and i used to not grill anything and now i grill i've, I've grilled shrimp i've grilled um, fish I've, chicken i've grilled um, steaks i've grilled all kind of things on there and if you don't want to pay the full price for it then book a party and earn it for free because i know a lot of people who have done that too so we are going to stir this up this actually might be done to be quite honest I'm gonna have to try one but the seven minutes might have been enough I forgot that I only have eight ounces in here it's actually perfect at seven minutes we have al dente what is this rotini or rotini or I don't know how to pronounce it but um, all we have to do is let that, um, we'll just drain it in the sink. I'm gonna get my strainer. We have a three set strainer and we have this little one. Look how cute it is. Um, I could have definitely checked another recipe and measured out the liquid to where I wouldn't have to strain it. Um, I do that with my macaroni and cheese. But um, I didn't for this because I didn't feel like looking up another recipe. But it's very simple. So I think it's like my macaroni and cheese, I believe, has a one and three fourths cup of liquid. And beautiful pasta, seven minutes. I know that I could have just cooked that in the pot, like I said. It could be a one pot meal. But why make it a one-pot meal and not show you how cool that thing is? If you have a college student that, I mean, when I was in college and I lived on campus, I was tired of cafeteria food and I wanted something that was good. And something that I can make quick and not have to like walk all the way to the cafeteria. So that is perfect. Um, so while that is going to sit over there, 
we are going to chop up some chicken and we're gonna make a salad so that um, dinner can be finished because I really don't have much left to do. Um, that and we're gonna shred up some cheese. So I'm gonna stick y'all back up here. I had all kind of people jump in, I didn't even notice. Hello, whoever's watching currently. I still see that four people are watching. All right, so we have, I need my cutting mat again. So we have our chicken right here. And what did I do? I had a few of you guys ask about this lovely contraption. The salad choppers, absolutely amazing because you can chop so many things. If you notice, I had a little clip. They were keeping them closed so they're safe in your drawer. I have a little one that goes and grabs things out of the drawers. So this is good to have a safety lock on. And it opens up like scissors, but you hold it backwards. You put your whole hand in here, um, especially if you already own these and you have never used them or maybe you may be using them wrong. I know my sister has been using hers wrong for a while until she saw one of my videos. She's like, wait, that's how you use it. A lot of people feel like you have to hold it like this, but it's a little awkward. You put your, excuse me, your whole hand in here and make sure you guys can see. You just um, put this with the curve of your bowl and you start chopping. So I'm going to shred this chicken with just a few chops, really. And then we're gonna use this thing to make a salad. So you're going to use the scooper part to really pull up the chicken and chop it. There's two blades, so it chops fairly fast and very fine. And so since this chicken was so tender already, after we grilled it, it's just shredding apart super easy. And look how simple that is. And I don't even know, that took me maybe 30 seconds, I don't even know. Very simple, very fast. If you were doing this meal as a one pot, you would just um, cook your chicken before putting in the marinara sauce and the chicken broth. Um, also, if you were cooking this meal as a one pot recipe, um, once you had all the liquid in there, you would put your um, seasoning and um, pasta, and you would have your pasta cook in all of that nice liquid that's over there. Probably make it even tastier. And look, beautiful chicken. I'm gonna dump this in here with the rest of the deliciousness. I'm also just gonna put a little salt and pepper and that seasoning that I told you guys about, our Pampered Chef seasoning, I'm gonna put a little bit of that in here too. I know it's on my chicken, but can't hurt to add a little more. All right, so, so far we have our liquid going well. Um, and I'm going to put some cheese in there in just a little bit and then that's gonna be done. So let's make a salad. So I have a classic batter bowl. The bowl you saw me chopping the chicken, the chicken in <laughs> was the, um, the small batter bowl. So you can see the size different here. I love the handles and they have lids so they go perfect. Like if you made chicken salad or something and put it in your fridge, love that. So we have the small one and the larger one which is called the classic. And um, I have some romaine lettuce and I'm going to chop that with our salad choppers. Just gonna first chop it into smaller pieces this way and then the same thing like we did with our chicken, you just chop it right in the bowl. I know there's a few people um, that I know that love this because they like really fine pieces in their salad. So this is perfect. in my salad I want to add cucumber so I'm going to use we have these paring knives they used to be um, they, they used to have them a long time ago and then they discontinued them well they brought them back and they're so great and they're they're very cheap like one is like three dollars but you can buy a set of three for um, 
I think it's like $7.50. They're so cheap and they're they're perfect. They're like the perfect little small knife that you need sometimes. Um, so normally when I'm eating cucumbers and like I just have like a little half piece like this and I'm using our um, vegetable serrated peeler to get all those peelings off real fast. Um, normally I'll just use my little pear knife and I'll just cut small pieces like this and make it easy. But I want to show y'all another product, of course. What kind of consultant would I be if I didn't show y'all how many great things we have? And this is our quick slice. So to use our quick slice, um, you just need a flat surface on your vegetable or whatever you're using. And you just stick it down on here. And you're going to rock the top blade, it's like multiple blades back and forth and you have perfect little sliced cucumbers that you can easily just dump into your salad very fast if you make salads a lot and do like meal meal prep it works great i've even used this to make french fries i'll do like a potato one way and rock it back and forth and then i move it the opposite way like I, not the opposite way, but I, um, I take the slices and lay them down and then move them back and forth and make french fries that way. I also have, I've never actually done these on here, so we'll see how they work. Um, Cause you can't really make them flat, but I have some little tomatoes, which you could just throw those in there, but I wanna see how, if they'll chop them. Trial and error live. Woo, it shot at me. Oh look, it did. These little bitty slices of tomatoes, how perfect. So then we stick that in there and salad's done. That simple. So I'll use this, mix it up. So we have salads done. Our soup is almost done. We have to do one more thing for our soup. First, I have some Parmesan cheese here in our prep bowl. It's a um, silicone prep bowl. Y'all, let me, let me tell you about these silicone prep bowls. If you are a baker and you have ever struggled with putting dry ingredients in a stand mixer and have it either fly everywhere because it like dumped quickly or if it um, like touched all the top part of the stand mixer and you have to go and like scrub that later, this will be your best friend. And when I say that, it's because they squeeze their silicone so all you have to do when you go to put like there's there's different sizes of course this one's small but um, they come in a in a set of three this is the largest one this is the smallest one and honestly I don't know exactly where my middle size one is right now I think it's in the dishwasher but um, the large and the middle size have a lid I use these in my lunch box but also, I use this, this is a three cup, I believe. I use this for my dry ingredients when I bake because when I pour it in my stand mixer, I can squeeze it and control where it goes. So I love, love, love if you're a baker and use your stand mixer, this will be your best friend. And this small one I used whenever I dip fruit and chocolate because I can really manipulate how I want my bowl how I want it to go so that I can like really dip the chocolate. So perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm gonna put this in there, stir it around. So that's, we have the chicken part of chicken parmesan. Um, we have the parmesan part of the chicken parmesan, but we gotta make it just a little more delectable by adding mozzarella cheese and we're gonna shred this up we're gonna mix it all together and dinner is gonna be done and in 30 minutes on a busy day so all right so we have our okay let me let me stop I'm going ahead of myself cover in case you've never seen one of my videos and saw this before cover for in the drawer like I said if you have little tiny hands that go dig in drawers like I do this is great because I know that he's not going to cut himself. And by the time if he grabs it out of the drawer, I will be aware that he's in the drawer. So this protects his hands. It protects my hands when I grab things because I'm super clumsy. Um, great. This can go tent style or flat. If you want to just shred something on top of, of a meal, 
perfect for that or do a normal tint style. Um, and this is the um, micrograin, but there is a fine micrograin, I believe it's called planar. And so you can like get really um, small shreds. So we are gonna put the safety guard, just slide it on. We stick our block of mozzarella cheese in there, push it down and you just, you push down on the button as you go up and down. And it's very simple. My um, niece is 10. She loves to use this thing to help her mom in the kitchen. Um, so kids can use it and I just, it's simple. Every now and then I will, um, like it was cheaper for me in that small amount of Parmesan that I needed for this to get it already grated. So I get the fresh from the deli grated Parmesan, but like I need a lot of the mozzarella. And so it's just, it works better consistency wise whenever you use fresh and you shred it yourself because there's like all these other things on shredded cheese so that doesn't stick together and it just it can change the consistency of what you're cooking um not drastically but it definitely makes a difference plus there's stuff in the preservative ingredients that i don't know how to pronounce so i don't always i mean chick-fil-a is my favorite food so it's not like i'm like extra healthy or anything by all means definitely not and i will have ice cream later today but if there's something i can do to help my family be a little healthier, then why not do it? <laughs> Let's see. I have someone ask a question. Yes, I know. I always have flour flying around. So the silicone bowls have changed my life when it comes to having flat flour everywhere because I can control it. And I definitely always make a mess no matter what I'm doing. Like if you're looking around in my kitchen right now, and I'm kind of like trying to go quickly through things as I talk, but I'm a mess when I cook or bake. And But what's great about some of these products, like even this, they go in the dishwasher. So even though I decided to break down the recipe tonight and show y'all all these extra things instead of doing just one pot, it, I don't care because I literally will put it in the dishwasher once I get off of Facebook Live and just run my dishwasher. And I was talking to another, another mom this um past weekend about being dishwasher lovers and it's it's easy and it's it's good that's it takes the extra time from washing everything individually um oh ouch she grated her finger that hurt and okay funny story i've shared once before on here the very first time i used this and this was last christmas my brother-in-law was at our house and he was like why do you need a safety guard? Just watch what you're doing. And I was like, okay. So I didn't use the safety guard. And guess who cut their finger? And it was the first time I ever used it. So it was like super, super sharp. So I use the safety guard every time, unless it's a huge block of cheese. So we are going to transfer this over here. I'm gonna move y'all with me this time. Um, notice our soup is nice and bubbly. And this is our silicone, um, why is my, my mind blanking? Silicone cutting mat. There we go. Um, so our flexible, maybe it's not silicone. I've probably said that wrong. It's our flexible cutting mat. I love it because I can control how I'm putting the cheese in here. Um, it's perfect for that. And so I'm really actually gonna take the fire off here and I'm just gonna stir all that cheese around. Let me move it so that you guys can see. I'm stirring all that cheese around so that it melts and just gets into the loveliness. I have never made this before, so I'm very excited to try it. I have salad and we have our chicken Parmesan soup. The Pampered Chef recipe, if you go to the Pampered Chef website, um, if you go to my website or if you're in Courtney's party and you go to her party link, you can see, um, you can find the recipe and it doesn't have noodles. I saw that on Pinterest and I decided to add the noodles. It has, um, you make like your own bread croutons and um, you put that in it instead. But I'm not a fan of bread getting soggy and you're supposed to like put it in here. So I chose noodles instead. Um, and if you're noticing what I'm putting this on right here, this is a spoon rest that actually came out of my turntable. This is also Pamper Chef. All right, we're gonna put our noodles in there. Stir it 
stir it all around. Y'all, look how good that is. I'm super excited to try this. It looks delicious. We have chicken in there and Parmesan cheese and mozzarella cheese. I'm gonna put some garlic bread in the oven. If you see, well, I'll just bring it with me to put it in the oven. Um, this is, I had a lot of ladies talking about stones. This is one of our rectangular bakers, the medium size one. There's a small and a large. I'm gonna stick that in our, um, I gotta watch those covers. They fall in the oven and they melt. <laughs> but I stick that in the oven for our garlic bread. All right, so this is question time. If there is something that I made um, or used to make part of dinner tonight that you missed or you had a question about or I don't know, just a comment, concern, whatever it may be, ask away. This is your time to ask me that. Um, a few things that were in that were being displayed in the party that you may have seen the ceramic egg cooker. I love this thing. I actually don't even make eggs in it often. Um, I've made little personal chocolate cakes and I use it when I make an egg wash for um, some other stuff. But I have friends who have poached eggs in theirs, um, scrambled eggs, make omelets, um, oatmeal, little strudel muffins, all types of things. This is great um, for on the go. And oh, I don't know if it's, ah, it's in my cabinet the breakfast sandwich maker so i do wow. use this pretty much every morning uh, that's why i wasn't sure if it was going to be clean or not but i use it um to make breakfast sandwiches i'm gonna put y'all down so i can show it to you um it has it's very similar to the egg cooker but it's um even though it's ceramic it, this is smaller so we have inserts oh my second insert must be dirty <laughs> i didn't clean that one yet or it's in here. Oh, yep, here it is. We have inserts for it. You put your egg in here, you crack it, um, you pierce the yolk, put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. Then you put the first insert, you put whatever pre-cooked meat you have, if it's ham or bacon or sausage. Um, and then you put the, um, you put the, I'm sorry, you put this for 30 seconds. And then you put this one on top with like a, I have thin bagels or you can use like those small, pancakes or English muffin um, and you can always use your cover with each step and it steams your bread and then you just take it all out and assemble and you have a breakfast sandwich. I use this I would say every morning but this morning I didn't use it that's why it's clean um, but really nine or four out of the five work days at least I use this and it saved me a ton on going to the drive through you have the occasional morning where you just want a Chick-fil-A chicken biscuit, and I understand that, <laughs> but that's definitely saved me a ton. Um, it's okay, Jessica, if you're just jumping on. You can definitely watch the replay once we finish out. Um, so dinner is done. We have our chicken parmesan soup that I'm super excited to try, and we have salad. Yeah. We have salad. I forgot there was a spoon in there. And I have um, some garlic bread that's in the oven that'll be done in two minutes. So um, we have dinner in 30 minutes. If you are just jumping on, you can definitely see the rest of the details on the replay. I do want to say, though, that I am running an extra special special for, um, for well, Courtney's party. And really, if you are watching from my VIP group, my personal page, my um, business page, um, if you book a party for November or December and you can definitely send me a message saying you're interested, I'll send you dates that I have. But if you put, book a virtual party or if you're in the North Houston area and you want to do an in-home party um, for November or December, then I will give you an extra special gift on top of the rewards that um let me move this for the rewards that pamper chef gives and pamper chef gives amazing rewards just to kind of give you a little um just a quick um, update with hosting a party if you host a party after your party reaches 200 dollars in guest sales which is super simple you start getting free products and discounted products and i hosted a party before i was a consultant and i got 200 dollars in free 
products. The most one of my hosts have gotten in free products is $450. Um, and once you start getting free products from the moment you hit 200, and then you get even more on top of that, there's like an extra 60% off item. Um, there's just extra pamper chef so generous and so if you book a party for um, November or December of this year the upcoming months um, I will even throw an extra special gift on top of that so if you want um, to know more information about that or what dates I have and it's super simple they call um, they call virtual parties sip parties that means you um, you schedule you invite friends and then participate in the fun. And you can ask Courtney, um, who's on here, or even Samantha was on here a little earlier. She hosted a party before Courtney's. It's so easy and it's a lot of fun. Play games um, and win prizes and it's just a ton of fun. So if you want more information on that, let me know. Sounds like my garlic bread's done. So um, I'm going to get to dinner because I know my little one and my hubby is hungry. So you guys have a great night. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a while since I've been on here. So I had fun cooking dinner with you guys tonight. So you guys have a great night and a great rest of your week. And until next time, have a great night.